Hey yo guys, what's up? My name is Bruce Dry, and whatever you want to call me. Either way, today we'll be reacting to a Jaden Animation video. The game Nintendo wants you to forget. What video game does Nintendo want me to forget? That's the real question. I mean, there's lots of games that they want you to forget. And some they don't want to mention anymore. But, what wants me to forget a game that Jaden wants everyone to remember now? Anyways, let's get this reaction started. Everyone knows about the classic household name, Dance Dance Revolution. It's the one where you go to those arcade places and there's that one Asian guy full comboing the hardest song with both player slots, and he's been doing it with no break for the past two hours, and he's the coolest person anyone has ever seen. It's a huge video game genre that sparked an incredibly talented and dedicated fan base. But we're not talking about a game that has any of that. We're talking about the Mario DDR game that came out on the GameCube in 2005 and is the funniest thing Nintendo what? has ever done. If you didn't know, Nintendo released their own Dance Dance Revolution game to capitalize on the hype, but it's actually awful. Uh, for whatever reason, they just ripped all the assets and models from their Mario Party games and mo capped Mario to various dances, resulting in animations like these. I hope you're starting to pick up on the vibe of this game now. I wanted to run the game at the yeah. hardest difficulty, but I realized to unlock each difficulty, you need to complete the entire story mode in its prior difficulty. So to unlock hard mode, you have to beat the game in normal. To unlock very hard, you have to beat it all again in hard. So we all agree that I played the game three whole times and didn't use a cheat code to get the hardest difficulty immediately, right? Alright, okay. great. This game is awesome already. The story starts out with Toad running to Mario's house because someone stole the music keys from Truffle Towers and they need to go get them back. What are the music keys? The game calls them the spheres that hold the power of music and then does not elaborate. They try to head to the tower, and not a minute into the game, we reach our first story hurdle, which is a river. They say it's flooded, but does not look flooded in the slightest. In fact, that is exactly what I'd expect a completely normal river to look like. Also, why would you put your house here in the first place, especially if you're gonna have problems with crossing rivers? But Toad has a solution, and the solution is to dance. Oh my god, do not tell me I can predict how this entire game goes all because of this one sentence. Anyways, Toad says if they dance, maybe they can cross the river, but then they just get in a boat and dance, which I think is one step too complicated. They cross the river in a boat and thank the power of magic, get to Truffle Towers, the door is locked, and then are bombed by Waluigi. Mario gets sent flying and Waluigi monologues about how he is the one that stole the music keys and intends to use them to become the best dancer in the world. Which, first of all, is full-on admission of guilt and therefore triable in court. And also, I don't think you need to stoop to robbery to accomplish that dream. Like, at all. Mario lands at, at the all. bottom of a really deep pipe, but uses the power of busting it down to get out. Somehow. I don't know what happened, but he just started dancing and then he was out. And on their way back to the tower, they visit a mm. local shop run by Lakitu. They're shopping, and then Yay. the camera pans and reveals... Is that the key to Truffle Towers? They ask him about it, and he's just like, Yup, ain't she a beaut? And it's like, why is it here? Toad asks why? if they can have it, and he responds, Only if you no. can do something for me. Which is terrifying and ominous. He takes him to the back, which is also terrifying and ominous, but says, <laughs> These brat kids are messing with my garden. If you get rid of them, you can have a key. Oh, phew. Okay, oh. he just wants us to beat up children. So Mario just dances <laughs> around and smashes them. We get the key, go back to the tower, and walk in on Waluigi just having his own private little dance party inside, alone. Have you just been dancing around in silence this whole time? He strikes an anime back pose and challenges us to a dance off, which we win because look at Mario go. Uh, and now uh. we we got the music key. Mario does the smallest little punch celebration in the world before Toad says they're not done with their journey. We have one of the music keys, but apparently there's four in total. You mean uh, the game isn't 18 minutes long? Toad summons this incredible music airship that I guess he just has. And off we go to World 2, where they immediately fly into a tornado, get flung away, and ruin Toadette's hotel. And when I say ruin, I mean, turn it into corkscrew pasta. Toadette is absolutely <laughs> furious, and I'm just praying we didn't kill every single person who was in the building. But Mario's like, don't worry, dude, I know how to fix it. By <sighs> dancing. Of course. They dance and the building coils itself up again and Toadette's like, Thanks, by the way I saw the thing you guys are looking for fly over in that direction. 
which is like, okay, sure. They head over in that direction, but a whirlpool just spawns out of nowhere. Oh. They sail to a nearby island for safety. Kind of just stand there with creepy blank yeah. stares for a bit. Then walk into the only building on the island, which is just another shop. This time it's run by Lakitu, but in a pirate hat. And you'll never hey, guess what he's got. A, a ship attachment that lets you sail through whirlpools. How incredibly convenient to keep <laughs> on progressing. Mario and Toad are just looking at the thing, and Lakitu's like, See, you got your eye on the boogie booster. Um, yes, it lets you sail places. through whirlpools. Mm. Toad's like, oh, neat, can we have it? Nope, it's not for sale. Can we have it? Then why is it on display? You know what? Exactly. You got a point. If you beat me in a dance battle, you can have it. I kid you not, that is the exact exchange that happens in the game. The song that plays while battling <laughs> Lakitu is super intimidating, and I thought I was gonna actually be in danger, but Mario wins the dance off probably because Lakitu has zero legs. They get the engine thing that wasn't for sale, and Lakitu definitely did not have to give away. And now they can sail through whirlpools. And when the game says through, they actually mean into, because apparently the music key is in the whirlpool, and I don't know how they knew that, or why they didn't tell me, the player, that in the first place. I was just thinking the whole time, can't you just sail around the whirlpool or something? There's like a whole ocean to sail in, and you're wanting to sail through this tiny little section. But now I look like a fool. And frankly, I don't think it's my fault. So they get to the bottom of the whirlpool and find the second music key being guarded by this giant blooper. And of course, that means we need to dance battle. Since for all these duel songs, you get to see the opponent's screen, I thought it would have been really funny to see the blooper have like eight arrows to hit instead of the classic four. But whatever, it's just a really creative and fun little idea. I guess they didn't have to be funny, I guess. Also, when I say dance, I, so. I mean murder. Mario danced so hard, the blooper died. On to World 3 they go, which, by the way, this game is going at breakneck pace. Mario does a couple dances, someone dies, and on to the next area, I guess. They land at an amusement park and are immediately gatekept by these Talk camera about bros. Killer like, moves. If you want to get in, you're going to have to dance through us. Toad runs away because he says his legs are too stubby to dance, which means the gatekeeping worked on him. Mario's canonically immune to gatekeeping, so he stepped up to the challenge, and I would like to mention these Hammer Bros highest combo was 30, which is not good at all. I'm just saying I would be embarrassed if I tried to gatekeep someone and perform like that. Just saying, exactly. Mario and Toad enter the amusement park to see Wario on a roller coaster with the music key. They yell out, follow that roller coaster, which is like, ah, if only there were rails to indicate where it's going. But then they make probably the worst decision you could when you're trying to catch someone on a roller coaster which is get on the other roller coaster cart. If you're getting on a roller coaster to catch someone already on the roller coaster, that doesn't work. Roller coasters don't catch up to each other. That's called a collision. So they make haste again, the chase of a lifetime, and they end up running into a haunted house where Mario needs to dance to fend off the ghosts to avoid being possessed. Is this what you have to do to close Ouija boards people forget to say goodbye to? They make it out and start the chase again. Mental also, note. Wario, Dance. I don't think you should be saying this when you're clearly in tackling distance. They corner him at the Ferris wheel. He pulls the, if you can beat me in a dance battle, you can have the key thing again. We beat him, and hey, third music key. By the way, Wario has one of the best songs in the game. The two arrive at World yeah. 4, where the skybox is very visible, and everything's all snowy song. and blistery. Toad is about to freeze to death in the funniest animation I've ever seen as Mario <laughs> does not care. But they make it to the top of the mountain where they find the last music key lodged in this giant Freezy's head. Toad goes up to him and is like, hey, sir, can we have that? And gets hard ignored. So he turns to Mario and is like, do you see that? I was ignored. Mario kill him, which the Freezy did not like, which being honest is very reasonable. I would be in the same boat if I gave someone the silent treatment and then I overhear them put a hit on me. Even though Toad is clearly in the wrong, Mario dance fights him anyway, and during the very fun upbeat song, the Freezy is seen slowly melting as Mario pelts him with fireballs. The giant Freezy dies tragically, they get the key, and Toad cheers, never once taking the time to self-reflect and realize how unreasonable he just was. <laughs> and now this beautiful innocent creature is dead because of it. They fly back to Truffle Towers to put the music keys back when Bowser punches Toad in the throat and takes all the keys back to his castle. Oh my goodness, there's a secret world 5? Secrets in Mario game? Who would have guessed that? After Mario dances to quite possibly the strangest Mario Bros song I've ever heard. Oh. 
They infiltrate the castle and grab the keys before Bowser is able to use them. Then Toad's like, you're going down, Bowser. Mario, kill him. And then the most hype dance, dance battle begins. Have you ever seen Bowser do an aerial while Mario is busting it down in front of him? Well, there you go. This song unironically goes crazy hard, too. The premise of this battle is while you're hitting the arrows, you also have to hit these rocket parts. And when you get all three, it builds into this space rocket that flies over and Astral squishes Bowser. And I would like to say, for the record, I think it is incredibly impressive he's able to take a giant hammer to the head and immediately jump up and keep dancing like a champ. That's some incredible stamina right there. But the song ends and Bowser collapses. The day is once again saved thanks to Mario and the sociopathic megalomaniac that is Toad. They ask Bowser why he wanted the music keys in the first place, and he's like, I'll be honest, I just wanted to fix my tone deafness. Poor guy, just wants to become a K-pop star. I guess that struck a chord within Mario because then he just uses all the keys himself and releases all the music power into the world and they all act like he's a hero and everything is happily and sparkly in the end and how it's supposed to be used this whole time, which could be cute if it wasn't so stupid and also invalidates every single organism they slaughtered to get to this point. Was this a good game? Not even close. It was surprisingly hard but it's not because the game is hard. I think it's really just because the developers didn't know anything about DDR. If they did, they sure as hell didn't make a game that seemed like it. They don't indicate which arrows are on what beats, which is really important in DDR. Well, okay, technically they do tell you what arrow is on a full beat and which are on half beats, but they switch back and forth between the same colors the whole time. See these two squares? Tell me which one is which when they're flying across the screen and all intertwined with each other. In other words, oh, dang. you. Enemy arrows hey, are impossible words, to see you. because they're not bright and neon, so they blend into the background, which is distracting enough already. For me, the calibration was wrong, so I went into the settings to fix it, and instead of having a way to recalibrate it manually or something, you have to input plus or minus, which is like... <laughs> my sweet spot ended up at plus nine, and I have no idea what that means. I could go on and on, but I think you get the point. Do I hate this game? Nope, I absolutely loved it. And it's all because of the stupid rotoscope dance animations. How could you call this bad? Nintendo will never let this happen again. So I think we need to step up and cherish this game because it's a miracle it exists. But wait, didn't they already do Plus that the songs again? except that weird one near the end are actually fire. And I'm dying on that hill proudly. Hello everyone, I hope you've been doing well. I have been doing quite well myself. Um, nothing to say this time. Uh, I'm working on a lot of like fun stuff, but I can't talk about it yet, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Mm. Alright, bye bye. Alright, that was fun. <laughs> fun new thing to learn. Anyway guys, that's it for the video. Be sure you like, share, subscribe, and like I say in the book, stay new every day. Bye!